So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller as you can see it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Uh, so hi everyone, today I am back again with another use case of multi-agent orchestration that is movie scripting. So in this particular use case, I would be giving a movie scene and this team of AI agents would be creating a number of AI agents depending upon the scene description and then generating a conversation for us. So in this particular use case, I am using uh, Gemini Pro by Google. So this API is free to create. You can also create it else. If you wish to use local LLMs, then you can check out chat Olama. So using Olama, you can do that in my previous example. I have used Olama. So you can check out how Olama can be used. Now before jumping onto the conversation, this would be the output that you can expect. Here you can see that three characters are made. So I will be showing you what was the description given. So this is the final output that you can expect. A conversation that is getting generated by three agents, Ravi, Radha and Shyam. Now before jumping onto the codes, let's first understand the graphical flow of the code. So this implementation we would be doing using LangGraph as I did my previous implementation for multi-agent interview as well as a debate application. If you haven't checked out, uh, go back and you can check it out. If you're new to LangGraph, I would suggest you to check out my LangGraph for beginners video so that you have a better understanding how LangGraph works. Now, coming back to movie scripting, in this particular graph flow, we would be starting off with handle greeting. So handle greeting is not a necessary node and can be skipped. It is basically explaining the description. So nothing else, it is just setting up of a variable that is not necessary. So this particular node can be skipped. The core of the graph is these three nodes, as you can see in a cycle getting created. So I'll be explaining you how it is working. So first of all, once we give a movie description scene and the agents are identified, that is outside this graph, we would be the Glang graph would be first of all identifying which speaker should speak next. So out of the multiple agents that have been created, who should be speaking the next dialogue? Once the identification is done, we go to the node handle dialogue. So for that particular agent, what should be the next dialogue given the whole conversation till now? And then once he has delivered his dialogue, we would be checking the conversation length, whether we have hit a threshold or not. So if the threshold is not hit, we will be again going back to handle speaker and then checking out who should speak the next dialogue given the conversation history. This particular cycle would be going on until we hit a threshold here and then eventually we will be compiling everything and the results might look something like this. So let's get started. So first of all, I am setting up my Google API key and then eventually loading the model. If you are using Olama or if you are using Hugging Face Endpoint in my previous, in my previous tutorials, I have already shown how you can use that. So you can check that out. Now this is the scene description that I am giving. Ravi and Shyam are fighting as Ravi betrayed him. After a heated argument, Shyam leaves. Ravi's wife, Radha, consoles Ravi. So this is the uh, scene description that I am giving and the length is 20. Now the next uh, prompt, how I am identifying the agents. I am asking the LLM to identify which character should be created. So using this particular prompt, identify different characters required to perform this scene. Output just the name and comma separated list. Now, uh, just the comma separated list adding in the prompt won't help. So you need to have a output parser also that I'm using from LangChain. So if you haven't, if you're not, if you're new to output parsers, you can check my previous video or you can check my book also. I have dedicated an entire chapter for that. So once you apply this output parser, eventually you will have an output like this: a list of elements with the characters to create. Ravi, Sham, and Radha. Now. Coming to the graph state, so basically this class would be handling all the variables that are getting used by the LangGraph object that we are creating. So the variables are quite easy to understand. I have already explained the concept of what are state graph variables in my previous video, so I am skipping that. In this particular case, the variables are next speaker who should be speaking the next dialogue. History holds the entire conversation. Current response, current speaker is uh, I think self understood. Dialogues left is basically uh, we are my like as we are setting up a threshold 20 so we will be subtracting one for every dialogue spoken so this would be the total number of dialogues left at a point when the conversation is going on before we hit the threshold results and description description is basically 
the description of the scene result is nothing but end scene so these uh, some of the variables are not necessary you can skip them now once we have declared all the state graph variables we are creating a state graph object and create storing it as workflow now our variables are done the next important part is the prefix start prompt that i'm using so this would be a single prompt that i would be using for all the agents you are dash conversation so far is dash say your next line don't repeat your previous line scene is dash expected output format is speaker name colon line so this is a particular template that i'm following and for example the three agents that we created is ravi sham and radha the next dialogue is for ravi so the prompt would look like this you are ravi conversation so far is or whatever the history is say so your next dialogue don't repeat your previous lines scene equals to this particular line ravi and sham are fighting as ravi betrayed him etc expected output format now coming to the nodes of the lang graph i'm not jumping on to the elementals of lang graph because i have already explained that if you wish to know the basics of lang graph do check out my previous videos that would be helpful in this case classify is help this particular function is helping us to identify who should be speaking the next dialogue so as the prompt also suggest who should speak the next dialogue output just the speaker name conversation so far and movie scene so in every prompt i am passing the conversation done so far and the movie scene description so that the lm would be able to decide who should be speaking next and what context are missing from the movie scene that needs to be get covered so this particular function will help us with that handle speaker handle greeting handle dialogue so any function that has a prefix handle consider that, that as a node in the lang graph so handle speaker as i already told you would help us to generate uh, the next speaker name who should be speaking next using the classify function so as you can see that i am loading a few uh, state graph variables and then passing this to the classify function defined early or above and 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 while returning i am setting that new speaker name as next speaker variable handle greeting as i told you uh, is not much of use you can skip that handle dialog would be helping us to generate the next dialog for the speaker identified so i think it's quite easy it's very similar to what we have done in the previous uh, examples also so we are loading some state graph variables summary the total the conversation so far the current response count of dialogues left next speaker etc and then using the prefix start this particular prompt as you can see i am filling the values if the summary is nothing that is the conversation hasn't started yet we are starting with the first agent every time else you can we are choosing the next speaker who should be the next the next speaker variable that we have loaded because if the conversation has started we have already selected the next speaker else if the, there is no conversation till now we are going with the default as the first agent to less complicate the things and then filling the values in this prefix start prompt and then generating the output using llm prompt and then storing the values here we are updating the state graph variables we are in the history we are adding the dialog generated right now into the existing dialogs current response and dialogs left equals to count minus 1 as i already told you we will start with the threshold 20 and then subtract one for every dialog generated result is quite interesting so once we have set a threshold for the conversation at times the result generated by the llm might be a little shaky you might not get the exact format so here i'm trying to clean that up remove empty dialogs repeated sentences and repeated names just to clean up the whole history once that is done we are storing the entire conversation again and setting the results variable as scene end that's it now all the handle functions are taken as a node as i already told you alongside the result function the the three function handle speaker handle greeting handle dialog and result do remember that classify is not a node because it is getting used inside handle speaker only now once we are done this is the core of the entire lang graph this would help us to add a conditional edge that that, that cyclic flow that uh, we you saw earlier in the graph so in this particular case what we are doing let's try to understand this particular function check conversation length is helping us to identify whether we should end the conversation or whether we should continue it so if dialogues left is equals to 0 that means we have hit the threshold and then we would be jumping on to the node result else we would be going to the handle speaker so if you don't remember the cycle 
we are standing here if a conversation length uh, has hit the threshold we'll go to results node else we'll go to the handle speaker node this is a conditional edge because as you can see that it has two flows going in so to decide which flow to choose in this case uh, we would be using the add conditional edge so after handle dialog we would be checking out the conversation length once we hit this particular we execute this particular node we would be executing this function check conversation length and depending upon that we would be going to handle speaker or, ha or results that's it now we are setting up the edges between the nodes that we have defined handle greeting handle speaker this particular node handle greeting handle speaker handle speaker handle dialog handle dialog and this is the uh, handle dialog check conversation length this one so all the edges are getting added and as i already told you for the last edge result you need to add it to the end flag that is present in langara once we have defined all the conditional edges the edges and the nodes we need to compile this particular langara object and then app dot invoke passing the default variables for the state graph uh, variables that we have defined dialogs left equals to length that is 20 next speaker is empty for now as we are getting started history is nothing current response is nothing recursion limit you need to set because uh, what i have faced issues is that uh, by default this limit is 25 and in 25 you won't be able to generate longer conversation so this is a flag that you need to mention while passing to app.invoke do remember this someone asked me in my previous tutorial that how to resolve this so i have resolved this now you can check it out now once we are done as you can see conversation history once the entire app lang graph has executed you can check that this is the conversation that we have developed Ravi, I know I was wrong, Radha. I shouldn't have betrayed Shyam. It's okay, Ravi. I understand that you made a mistake. So this is how when you read it, you can make sense that it is able to follow the movie scene that we described. And eventually at a point, you will see that Shyam has also left. Right. So in this case, you are able, uh, the LLM is able to make sense that in the, all the sentiments mentioned, all the events mentioned in the particular scene are getting followed. And the, di and the dialogues that are generated looks also quite natural. We can generate them in different languages also. We can improve the prompt a lot, no doubt. I think I'm going with the very baseline prompt, but that can be improved and which it can eventually look like a movie script scene. And not just one, if you add another node where you can generate multiple scenes and for each scene you're generating a script, you can generate an entire movie script all at once. So this is how you can do movie scripting using multi-agent orchestration. Thank you so much.